This year, I decided to use a mini bullet journal, partly because I already had it and I needed to use up all my empty notebooks, and partly because I want something I can easily put in any bag or pocket. I got this black passport size exceed dotted notebook from Walmart for like, I think three bucks. Point is, it was super affordable and easy to find. I love really nice quality notebooks with thick, creamy paper and a beautifully bound cover, but this is going to go in my pocket or throw in my bag. I'm going to let my nieces and nephews doodle in here, I'm going to tape random receipts I get in here, so I went with this. It has really good quality paper for what I need, and so far I have loved using it. It's going to take a while for me to get used to the smaller size, but I think it'll go well. At the end of the video, I'll put more details about the products that I used and I'll link them in the description too. I'm not going to show you any beautiful spreads because that's not really the point with this. I typically use my journal as a catch-all. Random lists, messy doodles, a taped in quote. This is an easy beginner's bullet journal that anyone can use and I like to keep it relaxed. I have to make a lot of my work perfect and pretty, so with my journal I decided I would do whatever I want. Personal Policies this is just a list to remind yourself of certain ideas and concepts that you live by or want to live by. Some of these are just simple living advice. Five year plan and 30 by 30. I use this as a long term reminder of where I'm headed. I then later use this list to narrow down the work that I need to do this year, month, and day. I've made this list two times, so I have a space for both my 2018 to 2023 and 2020 to 2025 lists. The 30 by 30 list is the same concept, but it gives you some more time for broader goals. Keep in mind these shouldn't be things that are totally out of your control. These are only concepts to remember when you're scheduling smaller tasks so that you can keep on track and look back at them. 2021 goals. This spread is pretty straightforward but I like to have three to four goals per category. The categories are spiritual, health, mental and physical, career, financial, and relationships. Things I accomplished in 2020. It's important to remind yourself that this past year did have positive notes. Every setback or difficult situation didn't stop you from growing. Sometimes I totally forget everything I worked hard on in the past months and I feel like I did nothing at all. I have to look back at my last journals and I'm amazed at how much I actually got done. Even small accomplishments should be acknowledged. Your view. I just make a space to list out the top events per month so I can see it all at once. And I don't do all of the days, I just list out the most important days as they come up. Financial Freedom Do research to find out what type of financial goals you can set for yourself this year. Routines or Habits I like to write down things that I would like to get done every day, week, and month if everything went my way. You might want to make a habit tracker later and you can use this to look back on and make that list. You might just forget that every month you have to send an invoice and every time you're setting up your new month you can look back at this list and rewrite it into your list of things to do for that month. 2021 reading list. Are there any books you've been wanting to pick up? This is the year. Mood tracker. I keep mine pretty simple. A mood can't always be described using one color, but it's always a good way to reflect on how you actually feel. I skip days all the time, but a blank space also logs that on that specific day, you just weren't in the mood to track your mood.
that's it on the journal ideas. I like to start my journals on December just because I always get too excited to start a new journal so it's just kind of become a tradition of mine. Remember that a bullet journal is so cool because you literally are the only one deciding everything that goes in it. There's no way to do it correctly or incorrectly. Sure the guy that made this a thing has his process but at this point it's completely evolved into a different process for everyone. No pressure, do whatever you want in your new journal. Thank you. 